Good afternoon. I want to talk to you about Psalm 124. Psalm 124 is one of our Psalms of Ascent by David, and it's so wonderfully encouraging. And it says this, it says, Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, Had not the Lord been with us when people rose against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. And I just love that. And I don't know where you are right now in your circumstances or how you're feeling. If you feel like you're about to be swallowed alive or overwhelmed, it goes on to talk about the raging seas and the waters and circumstances overwhelming them, but it didn't because the Lord was on their side. And then it says at the end, it says, we escaped with our lives like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare was broken and we escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And so I want to encourage you that, yes, we are in a difficult place, and this is difficult circumstances, but as Catholic Christians, we are called to be okay with uncertainty. We are, we are called to be strong and courageous, even when things are very uncertain around us. And we can know that this too shall pass and that the Lord has us. And if you feel overwhelmed or like you're about to be swallowed alive by something, I want to encourage you now to come with me. Let's pray and let's say our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And when we get our eyes on the maker of heaven and earth, then it bolsters our faith to know that all will be well because he is in charge. He is over us. He is managing us and he is greater than any of our fears any of our circumstances. And so let's now enter into this time of prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's take our three deep breaths. And we place ourselves in the loving presence of the maker of heaven and earth. And Lord, we come into our interior castle where we are safe, this glass house, and all things harmful are outside. All things fearful or things that make us anxious are outside. And we say, had not the Lord been with us? And we know that you are with us. You are here with us. And you are saying to us, be strong and courageous. Do not fear, for I am with you and that you will guard and you will keep us in all our ways. And Lord, we do ask for that light and love to shine upon us so that we know that you are here with us and that you say that your perfect love casts out all fear. So Lord, we come into this time, this beautiful time, and we say, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And so Lord, we bow before you and we say, come, come be with us so that we're not overwhelmed. We're not eaten alive, but we escape from the fowler's snare. We thank you, Lord, that you're the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And on you, we can have our faith, our trust, and our hope. We thank you, Lord. We ask it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I'll be praying for you. I'm going to put a link to Father Mike Schmidt's um, Sunday uh, homily today. It's just beautiful, and it's all about how to be strong and courageous and free from fear and, so, and to teach your kids how to do it. So I pray that you'll take a look at that. It starts at, I think, 1010 on that um, YouTube link. And now I'm praying for you. Read Psalm 124 and be encouraged by the word. God bless you.